Hello, I'm Gage, and I'm joined with... Howdy, I'm Will. Uh, I'm Jesse, as usual. And I am here. Indeed. Now you're Cody. <laughs> you're oh. not here. <laughs> and um, we're playing a role-playing game, kind of like Survive, if people have watched it. If you haven't watched it, you're probably going to have to watch it, otherwise you don't get the reference. But you don't have to watch this because it's not related to that anyway. It is kind of. Um... We're going to be doing a role play where it's kind of like they, um, like by they, I mean Will, Jesse, Cody. They'll be in a, uh, you know, in Tuopolis, which is a metropolis city. Okay, so, uh, I guess I'll do some character introductions. We've got Will Do It. Do It? Yeah. Uh, he's 19. Thanks, Will Do It. Do It. Do It. Do sorry. It. He's from, uh, India. <laughs> and, uh, he's wearing glasses. A powder blue t-shirt. He's got short shorts made of denim. No underwear on. <laughs> he's got uh, white red... Uh, so he's got white red band soccer socks. And uh, he's got white Nike Airs. And the only item that he's got in his pocket is a mechanical pencil 9mm. Standard piece of lead. <laughs> uh, his perks. He's an expert swimmer. His knee begins to jerk when it uh, it rains. Both of them. Uh, at night time... thought it was just one. No, both of them do it. <laughs> it just... Oh, man. <laughs> so now he just can't walk around. Oh, I'm so overpowered now. Uh, Carl Sagan comes after him at nightfall. Uh, what? I don't remember this. Yeah, we changed it. Just to change it. Because oh, okay. they felt like you didn't have anything worse. Uh -huh. yeah, you literally had no no bad things. And, it um, that bad. Well, sure, he comes after me, but what does he do? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you got really good hearing. All right, so I can hear him coming. All right, cool. Yeah. Your biography is uh, you came straight from India, and uh, you got to Entuopolis by uh, literally swimming to it and stealing a homeless man's identity and his mechanical pencil before buying an apartment and leaving the life of the street behind. Yeah. Pretty Nuts. Dramatic. Next up, we've got Olavi. Olavi? Olavi. Olavi, there we go. Olavi Valhalla Bjorn, which is Jesse's character. Uh, he's 25 years old. He's a Norwe He's from. He's his ethnicity is Norwegian Arctic, because uh, he's literally from the Arctic. Uh, he's wearing a Viking helmet. He's got chainmail on. Uh, he's got sheepskin pants, no underwear, uh, sheepskin socks, and iron boots. Uh, his only item he wanted to start with is two-handed iron axe. <laughs> and uh, his perks is he has all the abilities of all the shouts of the Dovakin from Skyrim. Uh, he's partially immune to cold. Uh, he turns into a character called Jack the Effer. Unless you want to just say, yeah, Jack the Fucker, basically. Which is his alter ego when it rains. Uh, <laughs> and at nighttime, he turns into another alter ego of Max Payne. Which uh, I don't have control of. Yeah, no control whatsoever. Uh, his biography, he's a, he's a Viking that was frozen and bitten by an old lady. Oh, wait, no, you weren't bitten by an old lady. That's the old one. Oh, God. I was bitten by Max Payne's, like, Yeah, bitten by Max Payne. <laughs> and you set out to kill the mysterious Jack the Effer, or fucker, either or, who he has never seen but has heard of and has seen the <laughs> atrocities he has done to his village. But now, to escape his past, he decides to travel to Entuopolis to start anew. Uh, finally... We have Cody's character, Oswald Cobblepot. He's 21 years old. He's a Portuguese Canadian. Uh, he's got nothing, you know, nothing on his head. He's just wearing a white tuxedo. He's got white dress pants. He's got purple with pink hearts on his boxers. Uh, he's got black dress socks, black steel-toed construction boots, and um, he's his one item he chose is a purple lightsaber. And uh, his perks, he's got the Force and all the Force abilities. He's a master swordsman. The rain causes him to pass out, and he sleepwalks when he fall passes out or goes to bed. Uh, his biography is he's a, an ex-Jedi from the Order of the Jedi, which only consisted of him, and he moved to <laughs> Entuopolis when he was casted out from his order, from himself, because of unknown reasons. Now he bought an apartment with other guys. I don't like to talk about it. He doesn't like to talk about it. Alright, um... Who should we start with? Who wants to start first? Me! Me! I want to start first. Okay, Will. Because you have your hand up. 
Um, <laughs> How'd you know I have a hand up? <laughs> oh, I know, Will. I fucking know. Okay, so, Will, you arrive at the... We're just going to cut to you arriving at the door of the um, uh, apartment. So you're in the hallway, everything. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I open the door. Okay, you open the door. The door unlocks. Closes behind you. I guess you step in, right? I assume. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so you step in. The door closes behind you. You know, it does one of those... <laughs> Maybe not that loud, but, you know. Then it explodes. <laughs> the door <What>? explodes. <laughs> um, you're... Wait, okay, so... Huh? Wait, did you say Will's other item? The other yeah, thing? No, that was that's in the room already. Yeah, oh, okay. Room already. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry. Alright, you walk into the living room. Uh, in the living room, you see the world's most relaxing and most comfiest purple couch with three cushion seats. And it's got pink hearts on it. Never seen it before. Uh, there's a window in the living room. And there's a green beanbag chair you remember having moved here. And there's your giant teddy bear with some strange sort of, like, panel on its stomach. It's got about ten digit codes. But, uh, yeah. You don't really know what that does. Um, okay, so you're in the living room. Okay. Um, I take a nice, relaxing breath in. <sighs> My new apartment. Fantastic. You smell the air, it's very stale tasting. Uh, you can smell someone's cooking bread in their other room. At least you hope it's bread. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You're in your living room. Alright. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna go over to my prized beanie bag chair. <laughs> Alright. That's a and green bean bag chair or a beanie bag chair? So you actually got a beanie of the green bag chair. Chair. It's like a miniature version. I love it so much. I have a miniature version of it. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna go on my chair and uh, just crash on the chair, hang out with my teddy bear. Okay, you fall down, <laughs> you sit on your butt on the green beanbag chair, like, oh man, that's nice. And uh, yeah, you sit down. Um, who wants to go next? Pick Cody. <laughs> All right, Cody, since you're so eager. Um, <laughs> Uh, Cody, you, you, uh, after walking for a bit, um, you finally reach the Why apartment. Why would I walk? Don't I have a car? Not right now. Uh, after Did driving I... your DeLorean, sorry. Yeah, there you your go. Your actual See? Back to the Future time-traveling DeLorean. Yep. Uh, you <laughs> arrive at the apartment. Uh, you come upstairs. You're now at the door. What do you do? I, uh, open it with the, uh, force. I knew it. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna waste right. all my energy. I'm gonna pass out right away. Mm. So what just, do you do? Just open it. Alright, you put your hand on the door, you open the handle, door opens up, and you see what appears to be... This a, is a shitty door. Hey, it's pretty good. Top of the, lo uh, top of the line, I bet. Uh, probably. Uh, you see someone sitting in this beanbag chair next to this kind of like really large-sized bear with like a key code on it. Like a keypad. And uh, he seems pretty well dressed, you know, except something. And that's that's a dog barking. <laughs> There's a dog in the apartment, but it's a ghost dog. Uh, force choke it and throw it out the door. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, cover. Anyway, you notice the man <laughs> seems normal. You're like, oh, this guy seems cool, but then it hits you. He's wearing short shorts made of denim. Like I didn't see that before. And you can kind of notice that he's probably not wearing any underwear. <laughs> and yeah, uh, his choice, you know, his own natural. Um, so you're in, you're inside the apartment. The door closes behind you. Definitely need to get that fixed. One of us needs to go get WD forty. Probably. <laughs> Don't need any of it. Uh, what do you do, Cody? What do you do? First order of business. I will say hello to this uh, weird man. Okay, so you walk up to Will, and you say... I don't walk too close. Okay, so just go ahead and say hello. Hello. You hey. must be the roommate. Yeah, yes I am. What is your name, sir? Uh... Uh, I think it's Oswald, yeah. You think it's Oswald? Yep. And I think in my head, hmm, I don't like this guy so far. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's uh, a little off. <laughs> uh. Mind, uh, what's that force move? Just mind control. Make him like me. Okay. But not too, wave your not hand too much. And not too much. Okay. <laughs> ghost it? dog is back. One sec. <laughs> oh god, the ghost dog. <laughs> oh no. Gage, why does your dog hate me? He's a, he's insane. I think. <laughs> Probably. She's insane. One second. No. Okay, so where were we now? That the dog has stopped. Um. Coming. I think I was trying to force persuade him. Yes, so use force persuasion. I was to... joking, I don't want to do that. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. He's gonna go insane. Now we jump to Jesse. Uh, Olavi, Olavi. Wait, before that, Olavi, I, I, want to sit on my, I want to sit on my couch. Yeah. My couch. Alright, so. You come up to this door, you know, your chain mail, it's kind of stuck to your chest, it's pinching your skin and stuff. That's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm used to it, I'm a viking. Okay, you come up to the door, and, um, what do you do? I guess. You've got the oh, two oh. handed iron axe in your I knew hand. that was going to happen. <laughs> what do you do? Kick it in. Okay. Uh, you bring right your foot the, up. Right off the fucking hand. And you <laughs> kick the door in. But it doesn't kick in, your foot goes through the door. <laughs> <laughs> and it's oh. now stuck. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, Just God. all of a sudden a fucking foot comes through <laughs> the door. We jump to uh, Cody and Will uh, for a reactionary. You see this iron boot smash through the door. And it's just kind of stuck in the door now. Oh, submit! That cannot be very good. Must be the new roommate. <laughs> I don't think I like this guy either. <laughs> I think oh. I, I should probably help him out. No, no, I got a plan. I got a plan. <laughs> or not. Oh, no. He's going to cut down the door. No, no. Even better than that. Come on. I'm more creative than that. I'm a fucking dope oh, no. again. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Jesse. Your uh, foot's stuck in the door. What do you do? Oh, Whirlwind sprint. Whirlwind and nut cast. Roll and sprint into the door? <laughs> yep. <laughs> into All right. the door. And probably through it. Why the fuck not? You roll sprint through the door with your heavy chainmail armor. You do kind of a roll and you just fall flat on your stomach as you bash through this door. Oh, no, you definitely need it. Flanks, me. like, flakes and planks of this <laughs> splintered wood is just all over the place. This splintered wood is just all over the floor and you're, like, lying flat face down on this floor and you just kinda like look around I guess at this group of this like man in denim short shorts staring at you who clearly doesn't have underwear underneath and <laughs> this uh, man in a tux a white tuxedo just kinda looking at you but he's got kind of steel toe construction boots which is a little odd which makes, makes no sense <laughs> so how do you guys interact? how do you guys do this? uh hello hello <laughs> I'm just going to focus on my teddy bear. I don't care what's going on right now. <laughs> okay, so now we'll jump back to, I guess, Cody. Cody, what do you want to do? Uh, you know, I don't I'm, have a door. I'm going to... We have a fridge, right? Yeah, you, you got a fridge. There's I'm just going to go check in the fridge. Okay, you go to the fridge. Uh, you want to open it up? Yeah, I want to check inside. <laughs> Can you open up... Open the fridge. There's nothing in there. Wow. Because nobody asked for anything, ever. This fridge sucks. Probably. We should have asked for, like, infinite food. <laughs> okay. I, I did ask for that. Um, but we would have to have some kind of, like, payment for the food every time we wanted the food. Jump to uh, w uh, Jesse again. Jesse, you're on the ground. Uh, I guess stand up. Okay, so you stand up, you kind of dust yourself off with these pieces of wood, and the, your chainmail kind of pinches your nipples a little bit. You're like, ow, oh, that's very uncomfortable. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, look around the room. Uh, you observe the room you're in. Uh, you notice a, uh, a purple couch. It's got three cushions on it. It's got pink hearts all over it. It looks really comfy. You've never seen it before. Uh, there's a window. Um, there, It's got no blinds on it. Uh... There's a green beanbag chair, and it appears this man in very short denim jeans 
you know, like short shorts, is just kind of sitting there on, looking at this strange teddy bear. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Where are the doors to, like, the rooms and shit? Oh, yeah, there's doors to, like, yeah. um, yeah, there's, there's a hallway. <clears throat> leads to, Can like, I um, go look for my room? Uh, oh, jeez, excuse me, I burped. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, let's uh, go do that. You go to look for your room that you remember you have. You open the door. You close it behind you, and you're in your room. Examine my weapon rack. I want to know what I have in there. You examine your weapon rack. There's various medieval items, from short swords <laughs> to a mace to a flail to little daggers to throwing axes to chains. How big is this weapon rack? It's quite big. It's a reasonable size. But it's just got an assortment of these medieval weapons. Um, yeah. And uh, you also notice you have a bed. You know, you got oh, a, a single bed. Uh, pretty dick looking. We'll lie down on that uh, bed there. Okay, and you got a window. So you just fall onto the bed. You know, you kind of sink into the bed. It's like, because <laughs> of your armor and shit. So you just kind of sit there. It's really comfy. You know, chain mail's still pinch your nipples, but it's okay. Let's, let's it's all good. turn right side up before anything that, that happens, like... All right, we go back to Jesse. He's dead. <laughs> okay, so you turn right side up. So on your side. I'll be laying on my back. Okay, so you lay on your back. Yes. That's originally what I thought. I didn't think you'd actually go face oh. first into the bed. <laughs> well, just uh, die. I imagined like you were looking at the weapon rack, turned to the bed, and then just <laughs> fell straight down. Onto well, it. better go to bed. <laughs> I'm a bit tired from bursting through that door. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you were trying to go to begin with. <laughs> um, alright, so you just kind of lay down, you kind of drift off to sleep. It's the afternoon, by the way. Um, okay, so you're going to bed, I take it. Uh, now we're going to jump to uh, Will's character. I look at my teddy bear. You look at your with teddy bear. Oh with a romantic look in my eyes. And I take my finger, and I press that keypad, and I put in 0033. 0033? Yes. Wow, uh, was, uh, it, was it four or five? I can't remember what digits, we said. Five, four? four? Okay. Oh, now it's four. You put in 0033, and it goes, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I still have to put up with this shit. And it doesn't work, and it makes that noise from Flappy Bird. That rhymed. Um, yeah. All right, so now we're going to jump to Cody again. Cody. I'm going to just leave the apartment. Okay, so you leave the apartment, you go into the hallway. Where do you go now? Down to my DeLorean. Okay, you head downstairs. <laughs> uh, you go to the parking garage. You end up coming across this old, like, homeless man who's kind of just sitting in the parking garage next to your DeLorean, kind of looking at it. You know, he's just kind of looking at it. Uh, what are you looking at? Ah! <laughs> what are you looking at? Ah, DeLorean! I haven't seen this since 1982! Is the garage completely, uh, like, Closed off, devoid like of witnesses. Can't. It's just you and this. Uh, I know what Cody's thinking. I've known the guy for like twelve years. Uh, it's just you and this old man. I have my lightsaber, lightsaber in my pocket. Yeah, you do. <laughs> what do you do? Sick bastard. <laughs> So this old man is just gleaming with happiness, seeing this, like, you know, this DeLorean. <laughs> I've waited so long to see one of these when I was a kid. Kay, can I go with a ride for you? With you? With for you? With you? Can I go ride? <laughs> Catch a ride? Catch a ride? Is that alright with you? Can I take along? I've always wanted to ride Is there an these. alleyway somewhere with a dumpster? Is there an alleyway somewhere? Probably, if you look around. There is a dumpster in the parking lot, though. Oh, force choking. Okay! Um, <laughs> expected. That's ex very expected. Um, okay, so you expend one energy for that, of course. How much energy do I have? Ten. Uh, oh, you whatever. close your Worth fingers it. around his throat. Well, not around his throat. You just kind of do that, you know, that motion, the force choke. Everyone knows. Every fucking nerd knows that motion. You yeah, do that motion. And you even just kinda, I do. I don't even like yeah. Star Wars. And he just starts to go. Uh, uh, he grabs his throat. Uh, uh, and he falls to the ground. He just starts convulsing in his, like, homeless clothes, you know? <laughs> and he's just like. Uh, 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 
and he makes the noise from like oh a bit he makes the noise you know from like um <laughs> he makes a noise and he's just like <laughs> is he not dead yet and um he just keeps shaking you know he's like it's taking a bit you never knew that it would uh take that long to force choke someone he just keeps fucking convulsing he's like <laughs> and then he stops and he's dead <laughs> he's just dead shit. flat out and you just kind of release your grip and you just hear so and is a tear he still rolls alive? down his eye. He's dead. <laughs> a tear rolls down his cheek. <laughs> and you can, sm- <laughs> you can smell a faint odor. It smells oh, like no. shit. It smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to force open the dumpster. Because <laughs> I didn't get in my hand. Alright, on- you force open the dumpster. The dumpster starts convulsing. (laughs) 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 What the fuck? (laughs) The The dumpster opens up. It goes. It's open now. Uh, No force. (laughs) Pick him up into the dumpster. Oh god! All right, you force pick up his limp body, which smells like shit now. You drop it in the dumpster, and as it drops, the lid closes. You know, like the, uh, the cartoons yes. that the kid shows? It just does that. Are there any cameras in the garage? Uh, yeah, just one. <laughs> <laughs> Screwed. Yup. Don't Ooh, worry, yeah. it's really hard for people to probably explain that. <laughs> <laughs> the most you get is, like, ghost hunting. Is there an office to the apartment, like, where that camera is? Huh? Is there an office where the yeah. camera would like to... Yeah, there is. Do I know where it is? Uh, you could find it. I'm gonna go look for it. Okay, so you go to look for it. <laughs> We're gonna jump to, uh... <laughs> since Jesse's sleeping still. Do you wanna wake up or continue sleeping? Uh, wake up. <laughs> okay, Jesse wakes up. Now one second, please. You hear horrible convulsing noises from the garage. 